Well, I thought San Diego State, uh, you know, shot the ball extremely well, played well down the stretch. Uh, a six-point ball game going into the fourth quarter, and I thought their composure really showed. They made big play after big play, and we missed some uh, opportunities, and it seems that's kind of been our year this year is uh, there's some opportunities there, and to be able to come away with a victory in conference play, uh, you have to take advantage of every opportunity you have, every what I call easy shot. Uh, in fact, you got to make some tough shots, and I thought that's what San Diego State did and give them a great deal of credit. Um, you know, I'm proud of what these two were able to get accomplished, not only today, throughout the whole year. Uh, Markel's really had to shoulder a great deal for this team, being the only senior, the only returning player that's played. Uh, every night out, she had to step up and come through for us to stay competitive. And I thought Liv Roberts showed that she's an emerging star uh, for this team, to have 12 points, nine rebounds, Basically, we never took Liv off the court with 38 minutes, and she plays with extreme intensity throughout the whole game. It's just, uh, I think, the fourth quarter, in fact, this game, kind of mirrors how our year went. Uh, we can be close for a while, and then we lack a little bit of composure, maybe a little more seniority we need. And uh, as I said, having only one senior, uh, there was way too much pressure on Markel. But as I mentioned, give San Diego State credit because they really played well down the stretch. Joe, I know it, it, the season just ended, but how would, how would you reflect on this and how would you kind of see the, the program moving forward? Do you like where, where things are at moving forward with this team? Yeah, I think one of the things, uh, we knew we were young and it became younger when Jordan Kelly went down. And uh, I give this group credit. Uh, they were a joy to coach and uh, been doing this a long time. And so it was a lot of fun. You just wish it would have ended a little differently, uh, specifically for Markel. But there was always effort. Uh, people were learning how to play. Maybe sometimes people that needed to be learning more in practice had to learn while they were on the court. And it was a difficult time, but they all stepped up, they responded. And as you can hear from these two, uh, this is a pretty tight group off the court as well. And so that was made it enjoyable to go throughout this whole season. As I told them, uh, the result is winning and losing. The effort that's placed between the start and the end is how you'll be measured. And they gave me that effort, and for that I'm thankful. Then, Coach, you know, how, how will you remember Markel's career and just her legacy at Wyoming? Well, uh, she burst upon the scene at this tournament as a freshman. Uh, changed the game against Colorado State, um, helped us get a victory. And ever since that point in time, she's been just solid out there. Uh, she's at the top of everybody's scouting report. They have to know how to be able to try to slow Markel down. Uh, she ended up being second all-time in assists. I think she likes passing the ball better than anything. Uh, she became a 1,000-point scorer. She has a bright future ahead of us. There's so much basketball for Markel still to play. Um, that portion of it, uh, we're going to miss her ability to lead this group. She always has a smile on her face, and uh, she was just a joy to coach. And that uh, says a great deal about the young person that she is.